I need to tell we're gonna be doing it HTM, uh, HTML block and inline elements. Now let's test one of uh, a, a, one of the samples of an inline element uh, which is D. I want to use D. I forgot about the class for now. So a D. Uh, a block element. Let me ask you a block element. A block element we take we we, we, we take all the weight that is available for it for it and it will start on a new line. Now let me Save this one. And let me preview it in my. my you can I see? It will take all the space. Now, let me, for you to know that it will take all the space, let me put another block element beside it in the code and let's see how uh, it works. That you take it will start on a new line. Let's see. Can you see? Even though in the code it is beside it, but it starts on a new line. That's uh, a block element. We have other examples of block elements like H1, H2, any element that you see that starts its uh, text on a new line and takes the full width that is, it takes every space that's here, every space before it. Now, that is a block element. Now let's test. Let's, let's look at an example of uh, a, a an inline element like span. Span. This is an inline element. Now let's let's put another side. both of them stayed beside each other because this is an inline element it, it, it stays in line another example of an inline element is, is uh, let's let's use the bold the bold element the bold element that's b now look at it it don't start on another line let's look at it i've pasted it in between and also in the span now look at it it don't start on another line can you see you just holding it as an inline element so this is what inline elements and uh, block elements is you can refer to our tutorial book so that you can see more examples of block and element inline elements thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial